Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya, and in today's video, we're gonna be addressing the law of attraction and perhaps something they missed out that I think you need to know about that will help you along with your manifestations. So I will not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. I want to first remind you that you have every single answer within you. We just have forgotten being a human being of the true intelligence that starts from within, powerful creator beings that you are and you know to be. We might have just forgotten. I'm sure we've all heard of the law of attraction. It's very popular, especially within the community of manifesting. And it's a great technique you can do because it really is the basic principle of you attract what you are. So if you're thinking positive thoughts all day, most likely you will experience positive outcomes. And surely that's one way to go about it. But being human beings, uh, it's a little tricky to think positive all day long because uh shit happens and we got triggers still to work through we got some clutter that can repel certain outcomes that we desire basically out of the necessity that we are still holding on to shit like hoarders like hoarders i want to use an, an analogy first and foremost before i start this video so within you within your internal being let's look at it as a house now you've been living inside of this house since you were born, your internal home, all right? And with that, you picked up a lot of things. You collected a lot of things to put inside of your home since you were a young child. Now some of these things could be you intentionally picked up and you wanted inside of your home. Maybe it's something that made you feel good about yourself or perhaps you picked up stuff that is shit that's shitty and it's tacky and it doesn't belong in our space, but we have this attachment to it because, oh, but we've been carrying it since we were a child, so it's very sentimental. Okay, sentimental? Do you guys find that your limiting beliefs have become sentimental to you because you've been living within them since you were a child? I would say for the most part we have. We are hoarders. We have become hoarders within our own internal home. And to attract you guys, <laughs> the simplest thing, the simplest thing is to declutter your internal home to allow new things in. Because right now, if you are not having an easy time attracting certain things in your life, it is because you are attaching yourself to these old trinkets, thoughts, belief systems that you know you don't want anymore. Like they don't look good in your house, not really benefiting you, you've grown, you may not like it anymore, but you're holding on to this sentimental piece. And the sentimental piece is making your internal home look like shit. It's tacky, we need to get rid of it. We need to clean house, you guys. So where I'm getting at, is the technique that the law of attraction didn't really discuss is before we came to earth, we knew exactly what this earth plane was about. We knew that we are here to be deliberate creators of what we are wanting. Why else would we be on this planet to suffer? That is not what we are here for, unless that is what you want to experience. We truly do have a lot more power than we realize, you guys. And the powerhouse is our mind. The powerhouse is the thoughts we think, the limiting beliefs that we hold on to, that we have become identified with. By us cleaning house of maybe things that we just want to get rid of, like go straight to the dump. We don't even have a yard sale. I don't think anybody else wants to pick up our limiting beliefs. We need to become aware of what our limiting beliefs are, what we are holding on to in, inside of our internal home that have become sentimental, and we need to go to the dump. We need to go to the dump and get rid of it. And how we can do this is by first identifying what thoughts we have 
identified to. What definitions we have put on certain things. That could be relationships, your relationship with money, with your parents, with society. What is our definitions that we have attached to experiences that we have experienced? Where do they stem from? What is the energy behind it? So what we first need to do, you guys, is write down on a piece of paper every single limiting thought, every single definition we have gave things, and we need to be aware of it. We need to hold it up and be like, wow, this is the shit I'm thinking about every day? This is what's holding me back from living what I'm here to live? Huh. Next step, I want you to bless it and and be soft with yourself because listen, being a human being, when we were a child, things were put onto us, definitions were put onto us that we didn't necessarily want, but we collected as kids, like kids do, they like to collect things, but these trinkets that we've collected are getting real dusty, getting really unnecessary in our new home as adults now. We deserve to live exactly what we desire to live in. So after you write down your limiting beliefs, I want us to bless it. I know it sounds weird, but by blessing it, you are giving it a new profound energy behind the negative energy you have associated with it. By blessing it, you are also releasing it in a lot of ways by saying, thank you, you've served me up till now. You've served me, but I am ready for new. I am ready to redecorate my inner home. So I have to get rid of you now, but thank you. You've served me up to this point. And then I want you guys to burn that piece of paper. I want you guys to burn it. I want you to burn it and watch all those letters turn into nothing, turn into nothingness. And you should be able to feel the release within your body, really should. Now, now that we've first become aware of what's inside of our internal home, the limiting beliefs, the definitions we have associated with certain things in our lives, now we can start fresh. You guys, we are here to be creators. We have a direct connection to source, to universal intelligence, to higher power, God, whatever you want to name it. We can never disconnect from that aspect. Even when you're dead, you cannot disconnect from it because you are it. But we forget these things. And I wanna wake us up, knock on your, your door and say, hey, You know, you already know how to be manifestors. You've just associated yourself with not being one. You've associated yourself to, oh, I need to work really hard or I really need to do all this this inner work to start attracting what I want. It's a little daunting. Does not have to be. Is that the definition you've put behind manifesting? Is it daunting? Is it hard? Do you have to do a lot of inner work for you to be able to live the life you deserve? Well, if that's your definition, then that's what you will be experiencing. It really is this simple, you guys. We have our internal spirit. It does not have to be hard. It doesn't have to be this long journey, uphill journey to get from point A to point B. We need to firstly remember who we are. I get it, being a human, yes, we forget. Yes, we forget. We forget the correlation we have to everything that is outside of us. Because everything that is outside of us is us. We need to wake up to that realization. We need to wake up to, you do not need to hold yourself in this perpetual pattern of waiting for a manifestation. I'm, I'm waiting really patiently. I'm doing all the correct things. I'm thinking positive thoughts. And the negative thoughts, I'm, I'm pretending they're just not there. That's not how you manifest, is by pretending. You need to embody the very things you are wanting. And how do you embody the very things you are wanting? By allowing yourself to feel the emotions that are you, which are correlated to everything you are desiring. So what I'm getting at is the part of the law of attraction that they've forgot to mention, is that 
You are attraction. You are the law of attraction. It's not this outside thing that you have to do. It is who you are. So by first remembering that, that's a huge uh, bonus in your manifestation journey. Because once you realize that, hold on a second, if everything is me, then what is holding me back from experiencing all of me is me. (laughs) And you might hear that and be like, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, it should make sense. It does not have to be hard. All it is, is truly cleaning house of clutter and then adding in what we are actually wanting in our internal home. So I hope this video helps just maybe gain a new perspective of what manifesting really is and how you are the manifestation already. You are the manifestation. You are a human being. You manifested yourself here on this planet. Wake up to that. Wake up that anything that is limiting you is nothing other than you doing that. Don't blame the external. The external is a direct reflection of what is internal. Take what resonates. But please, the law of attraction, the secret to it, is that you are already whatever it is you want to manifest. All you have to do is believe that you are and then watch magic happen. But if you are associating yourself with definitions that are no longer serving you, then how are you supposed to experience new? We have to recreate new definitions to experience new circumstances. All right, you guys, that's all I have for today. I was very inspired to do this video because Spirit told me this. Spirit told me this last night because I was like wondering, because I've been on YouTube trying to do my channel, you know, And I'm having a lot of fun with it. And they told me that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Follow your inspired action that you receive. That's another way to get you to to point A to point B. Is by enjoying the journey to point A to point B. And not putting roadblocks on your path. Hold your vision. Don't allow your limiting beliefs to come in the way of what you know to be true for you. And be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with time. Because everything truly is only within the now. Everything. There's no such thing as past or future. It is all happening now. Don't try. Don't try hard. Because if you try hard, it will be hard. How about we stop trying? How about we just take action on what feels good to us in the moment? And seeing where that takes us of releasing what no longer serves us and seeing how we will attract what is serving us once we get rid of what is no longer serving us. I love you guys. I bless you guys. Thank you for watching this video today. If you've made it this far, let me know in the comments if this resonated with you. Give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.